Tracking flooding concerns as we wrap up the 2022 year and head into the new year with multiple watches, warnings, advisories all out for storm systems number two and three in a series that's been affecting northern and central California throughout the week. We have a winter storm watch in effect for Thursday night through Saturday night. This is going to be a bigger part of the storm cycle with one to five feet of new snow expected and very gusty winds up to 100 miles per hour over the ridges. Difficult travel will continue because we still have this winter weather advisory in place Thursday morning through Friday morning with three to 12 inches of snow. Difficult travel and changing snow levels. That's going to be a big part of this weather story for the next couple of days, primarily because we're going to expect excessive rainfall and runoff with rain in the higher elevations. That's going to mean all that water flows down into the valley with rivers, Creeks and streams getting very high and flood prone areas seeing a lot of water rises. Storms number two and three, like I said, on the way from the Pacific associated with this big plume of moisture in our atmospheric rivers that keep coming even into next week. Here's storms, uh, our storm for Thursday, just now approaching the coast, and it will be a lighter storm with lighter showers, snow level rising, the higher impact day Friday into Saturday, moderate to heavy rain, shifting snow level. We get a break on Sunday, which will be great because we need that water to kind of flush through the system before more uh, atmospheric rivers head our way next week. Valley flooding, a potential as well as some localized roadway and street flooding. When we're using our wipers, we got to use our headlights. That's the law and turn around. Don't drown. Also for this year, a near whiteout conditions, major travel delays, road closures possible and chain controls. Ha travel will be highly discouraged, especially by Saturday. Part of the time on Thursday will find those delays. The rain just moving in overnight. Lighter showers to start us off through the day with our snow level. Pretty average, about 4,500 to 5,000 feet. But then as the warmer part of the storm starts to arrive later in the day, after a brief break during the middle of the day, that's going to push that snow line up. It will also deliver those higher rainfall totals. But even that, this first part of the storm isn't going to be that impressive with rain. Only about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch for the valley and the foothills. And for our snow totals, also on the lower end, about an inch to five inches for the lower elevations, closer to about 12 inches for the higher elevation. But uh, Sean de Guzman from the Department of Water Resources saying, even though December is delivering, we need to keep these storms going through January and February. But hopefully uh, the winter stays wet. That's what everyone's hoping for. Um, but by the time we get to April 1st, when we have our peak snowpack um, and we get, we, you know, we kind of turn the door towards the spring, uh, we'll see how conditions are at that point. So talking about those snow totals and where we stand right now for April 1st, when Sean was talking about that's where our real barometer is for how much water we'll have, providing a third of the water for the state. Currently, we're at 40 to 60 percent of average. That's why we need to keep this storm cycle going. But if we look at just the average to date, we're at 130 to almost 200 percent of average. That's going to put us at a statewide average of 162 percent. And we've got a lot more on the way. Rain totals also starting to come up. We were starting to get dig into some deficits here, especially throughout Northern California, closer to about five, almost six inches below normal. Now we're starting to chip away at that. We're pretty close to average for Sacramento and San Francisco, but Stockton and Modesto about an inch and a half to over two and a half inches ahead of where we should be at this point in the season. Just looking at one particular monitoring site, Sacramento executive, our total so far for December, 4.69 inches of rain. Normally we have just under three inches of rain. The most we saw this month in a 24 hour period was back on December 3rd when we had over an inch and a half of rain and we've got more weather that could provide something in that range there of about an inch to three inches of rain in about 24 to 48 hours. So rain's going to be on the higher impact scale here. Snow moderate, wind as well, travel extremely difficult, and flooding is starting to become a bigger concern. Now, I want to make it very clear. Again, we have plenty of capacity for our reservoirs sitting at 30 to 32 percent for Shasta, Oroville, and Folsom. And we're looking pretty good for New Malonis and Don Pedro at 25 to 53 percent of capacity. The key here is they are starting to show some moderate rises. And we'll see a lot more of that moving into the end of the work week and into the holiday weekend, primarily because of what's happening with that snow line 
to Thursday. Again, this starts off with a great snow line close to about 4,500 to 5,000 feet. Warmer air works in overnight Thursday into Friday. That's going to bump up that snow line above the passes, meaning rain on top of snow. It continues through Saturday morning. It's not until Saturday evening that we start to see that snow line dropping, putting less pressure on everything downstream from the higher elevations. We get a break on our Sunday forecast, but we'll gear up for a wet week again next week. So storm system number three is going to be the bigger of the two that will wrap us up for this week with the snow impacts being chains, travel and snow level changes. We'll pick up 12 to 30 inches of snow north of Highway 50, south of Highway 50, 48 to 60 inches of snow. Rain totals a lot more impressive as well. One to four inches of rain possible in the valley towards the coast. And look at this number. Grass Valley, seven and a half to 10 inches of rain. They've already got sandbagging stations out for parts of Placer County, Nevada County, even Sacramento County, preparing for those flood prone areas to try to prevent a lot of that water from intruding on people's property. It's going to be breezy, but not as windy as storm system number one. But we are expecting that moderate to heavy rain and more runoff expected, especially with those high rainfall amounts in the foothills and the Sierra. We're going to continue to lean wetter into next week's forecast. And you can see with our snow level changes, this is really part of the pressure that we're talking about for some of those smaller tributaries, but not only that, our rivers as well. Thursday morning, we've got that snow line at 4,000 to 4,500 feet, well below the passes. Kind of the caveat to that, though, is with that uh, chain controls very low in elevation, it makes for some slow going all the way up the hill. Now, during the day, we start to see that come up above the passes, and travel will be a bit smoother with rain. It's just the other side of that is we run the risk of higher flood issues as well. Saturday afternoon, we're still pretty high there, but it comes down pretty quickly during the evening, and that'll get us to those snow levels closer to about 5,000 feet again by Saturday evening into early Sunday. Our five-day forecast is on and off rain and snow for the high country, and we'll see the rain as well for the foothills. We're not expecting much in the way of really low snow, for any of these systems coming through with Sunday for New Year's Day being a dry day for us. Same for the coast, a lot of rain, and then we'll dry out on Sunday right back to the active weather. Want to hit on the potential for river flooding here, and I've got it zoomed into a couple of the locations, particularly for the Cosumnes River and then for the Sacramento River. We're expecting Calusa, Tisdale, and Fremont Weir to all be flowing by the time we get to Saturday. And one area in particular is going to be Cosumnes River at Michigan Bar, you can see it actually gets to the forecast of above flood stage by late on Saturday into early Sunday, cresting at 13.7 feet. So that puts us just below, just above our flood stage, but not quite to our record setback in 1997, 18.5 feet. Many of us remembering what that was like. So again, we are going to be leaning wetter into our long range forecast with multiple atmospheric rivers pulling through in the Pacific A wet end to 2022 heading into next week. You can see we get the after that break on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're still looking at decent flow coming in from the Pacific and even Thursday into Friday. We've got more atmospheric rivers and a nice uh, flow of moisture coming in. It's just watching the flood uh, risk grow in this 10 day forecast as multiple weather systems continue to affect us all the way into next week.